But Pittsburgh, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the New York Giants. Uh, Roethlisberger back. I think that's a big storyline. I don't have a great projection on Roethlisberger, but this is one that I think last year's numbers are, are dragging us down. I'm a start on Roethlisberger, no problem with that. I'm a start on James Conner. I think Conner uh, gets a boost from having an adequate quarterback play. I'm the definite start on Conner. I love Smith-Schuster. I love Deontay Johnson. I actually think James Washington is a start this week. I'm staying away from tight ends. For the Giants, look, I think... <sighs> This Steelers defense, man, they force turnovers and they get sacks. They put you in bad situations offensively. So I'm tempering my expectations with the Giants. I'm off of Daniel Jones uh, this week. Um, Saquon Barkley, I think, is a tough matchup, but you got to start him. Um, putting him on the bench would be madness. I'm going to start uh, Saquon. I like Slay more than any other wide receiver on this team, as we chatted about on Twitter last night, David. So I'm going to start on Slay. I'm going to start on Golden Tate. I'm sitting Sterling Shepard this week. Uh, but we'll see how the snap, you know, the, the targets are distributed. And I'm going to start on Evan Ingram this week as well. Take it away, David. Uh, I, I don't think you can start any Giants other than Saquon Barkley. And it's unfortunate because I'm high on, like you said, Darius Slayton. I think he's going to be great this year. And it actually might not be unfortunate now that I spit that out because this could present a great buy-low opportunity for mm -hmm. these Giants players after week one. Because you look at that Pittsburgh defense – Across the board, there's no no position they were a good matchup for right. in fantasy wise. You look at the wide receivers, have them here. They were what the seventh toughest matchup for wide receivers. Running backs, we have them here as the sixth toughest matchup last year. Tight ends, they were like I believe the uh, bottom ten toughest matchup. Even quarterback, they were like a bottom five t toughest matchup. Let me just double check that. Yeah, they they're not. A good matchup for anybody across the board um yeah they were the fourth toughest matchup mm. for quarterbacks last year so i really like the giants i think daniel jones i talked about slain i think both of those guys are going to be huge values this year daniel jones had three plus touchdowns and four out of 12 games as a rookie last year um, he had 300 yards multiple times I love the big playability for Darius Slayton. My comparison that I made last night that you were talking about was the Kenny Galladay comparison, where we look at when Kenny Galladay broke out in 2018, there was three Lions wide receivers. He was kind of going around round nine, but he was clearly the best wide out. Ended up emerging being a major value wide receiver, wide receiver two value in a round nine asking price. I think same thing for Slayton this year. Coincidentally, three good wide receivers. Golden Tate, one of them, just like he mm -hmm. was on the Lions. So I think there's parallels across the board. But I don't think I'm, you can start any giant not named Saquon Barkley this week. Buy low on them after this week. Yeah, I agreed. And then um, let me hit you with the line here. And this is why I love this game. Pittsburgh minus five and a half against the Giants. Um, look, new coaching staff. I like continuity. Roethlisberger coming back. I think they're undervalued, which is rare for a Pittsburgh bet. I think they're undervalued. I'm just going to tell you, I'm taking Pittsburgh, and I'm I'm betting my money on it. I love this matchup week one. Defense is great. Offense is going to be really strong. Sound and special teams as well. I'm taking Pittsburgh. What do you think? And I don't want to trash on the Giants here no. because— I really like what the Giants are doing. And Joe Judge, man, I really like that guy. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't actually seen the videos, but what I've been reading, he's saying, oh, we're going to throw the red jersey on Daniel Jones, hit him. He said, oh, we're going to fill a pillowcase full of bars of soaps and go and beat him out <laughs> back with it. Like, this guy is old school. He's tough-nosed. He's going to build a tough team that's yep. competitive, wants to win, has good work ethic. I think the Giants are going to be a sneaky team this year. Their rush defense wasn't terrible last year. They still have major issues in the secondary. They were the fifth easiest matchup for wide receivers. I think Pittsburgh handles them pretty well, but don't don't take this as a slate against the Giants because I think I really like what they're building there. Agreed, and and it's going to take some time to gel um, there. But I I think the Giants are a team on the on the rise. They're they're kind of like their receiving groups kind of like Cincinnati. You look at a team like Cincinnati, and your initial reactions they yeah, Cincinnati. They're not you know they're the Bengals, and a, I think a lot of people do that with the Giants. But their receiving group with Slayton there now, I think Slayton's going to be the alpha. And suddenly you look at Sterling Shepard and Golden Tate if they're you know Beta and what is that Kappa? I don't know. I don't know my Greek alpha. But, but, you know, if they're if they're the B and the C receiver in that 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 offense, that's a good offense. You got Ingram. 
Um, I just think Pittsburgh, man, I, I think they're a Super Bowl threat. That's where I'm coming from. So I'm not throwing shade defense. at the Giants. Yeah, and, and their defense They play both is sides of the ball. They, they play both sides of the ball. Yeah, it's going to be – that. I think Pittsburgh and Baltimore are going to be slugging it out in the AFC North uh, this year. And I think the Giants will be better, but they're in transition, a little bit of transition there. So.